Hello fellow vapors, time for a first look at the K1 box by Kangatech, kindly sent to me by Sam at Vape Distribution. So what we're going to do, we're going to go down to the table, have an unboxing, see what you get in the box, see what's included with this mod, um, and then we're going to set it all up, whack a battery in, and go through like my first opinions on how it is, how it feels in the hand, etc. And then in a few more weeks, we will come back with a fully fledged review and my full opinions and see how it has stood up to the test of time. So right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to swap the camera around and I'll see you down at the table. So here we have the box there. We're going to go through the externals first of all. You've got the K1 box Evolve DNA 75 there. You've got the Kanga and the K swoosh. Kanga Tech there. You've got your scratch um, to reveal code at the bottom. Blank elsewhere. On the back, you have got your dimensions, your characteristics, what kind of it is about the box there. You've got your cautions, DNA 75 patented by Evolve, um, designed, etc., 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 etc. All of that on there. Usual box markings. So inside, you get the mod itself, the charging cable, and the update cable and a little instruction manual. And the instruction manual is just a little simple thing. How to uh, do temp control, attaching a new atomizer, LCD display, modes, error messages, um, what happens and whatnot. How to upgrade the firmware with the DNA Evolve um, software, the Evolve DNA software, sorry. Um, what is that? That is called the eScribe software. There we go, eScribe. Um, so that's a nice little pamphlet there. You get the mod itself, which is kind of hard to get out. It would have been nice to have a little tab there. Um, this is the mod. We'll quickly go through that in a second. And a little card on the Kanga Tech how to authenticate your code so that's all that nice little bits and bobs in the box so but let's get to the main star of the show which is the k1 box itself so let's have a look around you've got the unique stabilized wood casing there um, you've got the stainless steel chassis surrounding it you've got stainless steel buttons stainless steel 510 with i hope a spring-loaded 510 pin yes that is very spring-loaded and it is rather nice indeed um it's nice and sleek i love the wood on this the wood gives it um a lot more of a, a premium feel you've got the k1 kangatech branding up there you can't really see it very much but the k1 branding and kangatech there other than that it is really unbranded you've got your CE mark there as well and the bin logo on the bottom you have some venting and cooling for the chipset um, and on the bottom here is where your 18650 battery goes so you unscrew that it's got some knurling there take that off and the battery goes in let's have a quick look in there as well you can see in there that it is wood all the way through you can see the little like knots in the wood there Hopefully the camera picks it up quite well. But yeah, you put the battery in, positive side up, and then what you do, I'll show you how you tighten this battery up as well. We'll loosen this. To prevent battery rattle, there's like a little screw there, and that makes that one go in or out, depending on the size of your battery, depending if you've got a button top or not. So you screw that on top there. And it's very easy to grip. The um, threads on this are very nicely made. And then you twist this center section here until you feel some resistance. Sometimes it's easier to twist the mod. And that is that really. Just give it a little bit of a tweak. You don't want to compress the battery too much. And that is that. So you can turn it on. There we go. We've got Evolve DNA 75 and the logo coming up there. That's going to be a bit weird because of the uh, camera there. But 52 watts shown at the moment. But let's just have another look at this wood. I think it's beautiful. Um, I've never had a stabilized wood mod before. I don't think I've ever held a stabilized wood mod before. And it just feels very nice in the hand indeed. Buttons are in the in the right place. Um, plus and minus, you've got your 
USB update, upgrade um, and charging port there as well, although I do recommend that you charge in an external charger, that is just my personal preference, but you know, the minus button's nice and clicky, so is the plus, and the fire button is nice as well. They're kind of spongy, but you've got like that clicky resistance there. Um, so let's kind of go through the dimensions of the device. We'll just bring it all up there. You have got, the height is 90 mil, the length is 42 mil, and the width is 22 mil. So you're gonna fit 22 mil tanks on there, possibly 24 at a push, depending on if you like a bit of overhang or not. And this weighs without batteries 125 grams. So I can't remember how much a single 18650 weighs, but you know it's not going to weigh too much. It's not stressful on the hand whatsoever. But you know this is a very nice mod from Kangatech. Kangatech are known for um, well, they're, they're kind of cheap and cheerful mods. They're economical mods. Um, you know no frills and whatnot it's just a bit of metal and a chip inside there and it does what it does but here they've gone like the extra mile they've made it out of premium products you've got your stainless steel and your stabilized wood you unique stabilized wood and these are very unique indeed and um, you won't find another one like it because this is a bit of wood that you'll never find again um, it's cut from a, a tree obviously and made into the shape for the mod so absolutely great and it feels great in the hand as well um, one thing I have made a, a comment on is this knurling at the bottom um, which is the only negative I've found so far within the 72 hours of uh, using this when you're holding this and you've got it in your hand your little finger cups it down there well this knurling it kind of digs into your fingers um, so if you're going to be chain vaping and whatnot for a long time that may dig into your fingers but overall you know just don't hold it like that or just deal with it um, it's not too bad you'll get used to it after a while um, but you know it's absolutely lovely I love the OLED display um, of the DNA 75 chip it is very clear very bright um, it shows you all the information you need you can change what you have on here through the eScribe software, which is brilliant. Um, I've, I've played around with it a little bit. I've had my own little startup screen, which you can't really see on, uh, on the screen here at the moment, but it's so easy to use. You just um, do a little thing in Microsoft Paint and do a little bitmap image and upload it to the device and it, it gets uploaded more or less instantly after you press the button. And you can also upgrade the firmware as well through eScribe. And it's very easy to use. Even a novice can use it. Or even if you're looking at this as your first mod, um, something to celebrate your Vaporversary or something like that, you know, anyone will be able to use it who's got basic knowledge in computers and Microsoft Paint, basically. So, right, what we're going to do, we're going to screw an Atty on here. I've got the Mutation XS RDA. I think this looks quite nice on it. It's not a brand new dripper, but you know, it goes quite well on there. Um, I think it looks nice. I may have to buy a new, new uh, dripper or a new tank. Something to go with this, something to make it look a bit nicer a nice combination a bit of matchy matchy action maybe throw a bit of wood in there if there's a wood drip tip going on but yeah i think that looks rather nice indeed so what we're going to do we're going to go back up to facetime take this for a vape and give you my first impressions of it so we are back up to facetime with the K1 box by Kangatech, kindly supplied by the people at Vape Distribution. And it is a treat to hold in the hand. I absolutely love it. Um, it is far from your usual, as I said previously, your usual Kangatech gear. Um, this has got a nice premium feel to it. It's light, it's ergonomic as well. Even though it seems a bit boxy, it f does fit very nicely in the hand indeed. Um, with a little dripper on top as well. Works like a charm. You've got one watt of 75 watts of power to use. Um, I personally wouldn't be pushing it at 75 watts all day long. I'd keep it around the 50, 60 mark. Um, and it is lovely. 
the upgradable firmware and customizable screens and stuff like that is good through the eScribe um, software which is very nice indeed you've got the stainless steel chassis the wood the stabilized wood casing you've got the big LED display as well we've gone through the uh, dimensions what about the features yeah more or less what i've gone through you've got dna 75 oled display firmware upgradable uh, dulux stabilized wood casing replaceable cell it is an 18650 and you've got temp control on there as well and the temp control with the dna chips is very bloody good um i haven't tried it yet but from what i've heard it is very good so i'm looking forward to trying the temp control out and see how it works especially on stainless steel but what i found with this as well compared to other devices as soon as you hit the button you've got instant power going to the atty there i've got um, a 0.38 ohm build on there it is more or less instant which is great compared to other chips where you've got that few millisecond delay this one packs the punch straight away so what do i think of it i think it's lovely um it's nice to have a bit of like premium feel to the hardware um you know not just your usual metal casing and a bit of plastic a bit of fake carbon fiber you've got real stabilized wood you've got a nice stainless steel enclosure not zinc or anything like that it is stainless steel um but yeah it feels nice it is light apart from the little knurling on the bottom which may aggravate some people's fingers it is very nice indeed so let's take it for a final vape now i have no idea what it, this is going to retail for um i've looked everywhere i've seen it really between seventy dollars and about ninety dollars ninety five dollars so whatever that is in english i do not know but we will find out when kangatech properly release this so right i'd like to thank the people at vape distribution for sending me this through for the purpose of review namely sam um i will see you in a few weeks for a fully fledged review on this if you're interested in seeing the full review on this please don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe click on that little bell for the notifications as well so right, I'll make links in the description below to the Kangatech and Vape Distribution website. I've been the Devil Vapor and you've been watching Devil Vapor's Vape Reviews.